that just kind of hits me when I'm looking out and I'm seeing all the effort that went into all the signs and all the outfits and all the costumes. It makes me so happy. And it also, it makes me feel like we have so much in common. Because... Because, you know, looking out and seeing how much planning and creativity that went into all the different signs and all the things. Everybody up all the way at the top, you think I can't see your signs or what? And they're amazing. I just feel like there are a lot of daydreamers here tonight. Is that, is that a fair assumption? I think I've always been a dreamer since I was a little kid. I would have these daydreams about what it would be like to end up getting to play music that I had written for really giant crowds and really big rooms on really big stages. And look what you did. And then, um, that was my, you know, most favorite, most popular daydream, but my second most thought about daydream was when I was in school, when I was younger, I used to think that when you grow up, there aren't any more mean kids or bullies. So I, I literally thought, um, like, I can't wait to grow up because then there will be nobody picking on me anymore. Nobody is going to say I'm lame or say that my hair looks awful or not invite me to things. I really thought when I was younger that meanness is something that people outgrow. But it turns out, it turns out that I ended up learning the lesson that no matter what your job is, no matter how old you are, no matter who you are, where you live, there's always going to be somebody picking on you and telling you that you don't deserve what you want. And, um, 